Welcome to Informatica University Success Academy. Axon Data Governance Deleting Objects Effective from Axon 5.4, it is possible for Axon Super Admin users to delete objects from the Axon instance. Please note that we recommend that rather than delete old or retired objects, that they are flagged as obsolete or inactive, for example. This is to prevent any loss of continuity or information within the Axon system. There may be cases where an object was created by mistake and should be removed. And in instances like this, it is now possible for a super admin user to remove the object from the Axon instance. Only super admin users can delete objects. A web user or admin user can set the status of an object to deleted, and then a super admin user can delete the object. In order to be able to delete an object, the status must be set to deleted, the object must not have any stakeholders, or related objects on the impact tab. It should also not have any child objects. The super admin user can also perform bulk delete of objects. In the example shown here, once all of the required criteria have been met, from within the object itself, the super admin user can choose the option to delete the item from the edit menu. This option is not available to web or admin users. In this demonstration, we will step through an example of how to delete a policy. If we open up the KYC policy, and go to the edit menu. This particular user, Marguerite Smith, is a super admin user. And we can see has the option to delete an object. If I would like to delete this KYC policy object, I click delete item. It asks me, are you sure you want to delete this item? If I click yes, it will run a check to make sure all of the criteria have been met first. And we can see in this example, they have not. To begin, the policy has relationships with other objects. So if I come down and click on the impact tab, I can see that it has been linked to glossary and system objects. I can also see that the axon status of the policy object is not set to deleted. If I go to the summary tab, I can see the axon status currently is set to active. The policy also has linked stakeholders, shown here, and the policy has hierarchical relationships. And on the components tab, I can see that this KYC policy has a linked child policy. I return to the search. And if I scroll down, I'm going to open this retain for 100 days after creation policy. Now this policy was created accidentally and we would like to delete it and remove it from our Axon instance. In order to do that, either a web user, an admin user or the super admin must set the Axon status to delete it. So to do that, I edit the object set the axon status to delete it, save my changes, we can see there's no stakeholders,
This policy has no impact on any other objects. So I'm going to go to the edit menu and I'm going to choose to delete the item. Once again, I'm prompted, are you sure you want to delete this item? When I click yes, it's going to verify that all criteria have been met. And I can see that the object has been deleted. Scrolling down, I can see that my policy has been removed. Thank you for watching this demonstration.